Hidden deep within the infamous Paw Paw Bends of the Potomac River that serves as the border between Maryland and West Virginia lies one of the most overlooked and underrated stretches of railroad anywhere in the United States. Strategically located along the modern-day CSX Cumberland subdivision between Orleans Crossroads and Paw Paw, West Virginia, lies the legendary Magnolia Cutoff. Built by the nation's oldest railroad, the Baltimore and Ohio, the Magnolia Cutoff was constructed during an era of rapid technological upgrades and when a railroad's improvements were status symbols. The B&O's east end is located on the Cumberland Division and lies between Weaverton and Cumberland and presented the B&O with some interesting engineering, financial, and operational challenges. Cumberland, despite being a large terminal, was the source of the problem facing the B&O's east end as two double-track main lines from Connellsville, Pennsylvania and Grafton, West Virginia converged to continue east. Between 1910 and 1913, traffic increased over the East End by 25%, which had already been pushed to its operational limits and necessitated the need to continue the B&O's massive improvement project past what the already constructed Patterson Creek Cutoff could provide. Four options were researched by the B&O, of which 29 different variations were studied. These options were temporarily laying a third track along the present line and retaining the eastbound helper grade, providing for the construction of a four-track main line retaining the present grade, providing for the construction of a new four-track main line cutoff abandoning the original grade, or providing for the construction of a two-track eastbound grade cutoff using the present grade for westbound movements. By realizing the initial cost of construction and the reduction of annual operating expenses, option four was selected and became known as the Magnolia Cutoff. Construction was authorized on March 13, 1913 with the cost estimated at $6 million and over 2,400 men were employed during the construction and housed in work camps located along the route. 